it's widely assumed that the New England Patriots are going to target a successor to Tom Brady at some point during the 2019 NFL Draft. Brady will turn 42 before the start of the 2019 season, and while he still helped lead the team to a Super Bowl last season, the Patriots need to start thinking about drafting a young quarterback to develop behind him and learn from him. Safe to say, this has some of the top quarterback prospects in the draft excited. In interviews at the NFL Combine, both West Virginia's Will Greer and NC State's Ryan Finley have praised the Patriots and have spoken about the potential of playing with Tom Brady. Per Henry McKenna of USA Today Sports, Greer loves the idea of playing on the Patriots for one major reason. The opportunity to learn from Brady would be priceless. Meanwhile, Finley hasn't yet met with the Patriots, but he said it would be a dream to learn from Brady and Bill Belichick, according to NBC Sports Boston's Phil Perry. It's easy to see why a young player would want to land in New England. The team has won six Super Bowls since 2001, and they have appeared in three consecutively. Players like to win, and the Patriots have been winners for the better part of the last two decades. The Patriots have also built up quite a reputation for developing quarterbacks behind Brady. Players like Matt Castle, Brian Hoyer, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Jacoby Brissett have all gone on to serve in starting roles after playing behind Brady. So, the opportunity to learn from Brady and Belichick while developing is enticing, especially for prospects that may need time to adjust to the NFL. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. 30. Phil Perry reports from the NFL Combine from Indianapolis The latest news and notes around the Patriots. 6 o'clock, Phil Perry talks with Bruce Feldman, Fox Sports senior college football columnist. They discuss this draft's QB class, and whether he thinks the Patriots will draft a QB. 1500, Phil Perry talks with Will Greer who was the QB for the West Virginia Mountaineers. They discuss why Greer thinks he is the best QB in the draft, and why his struggles in Senior Bowl do not reflect his potential. 1930, Wisconsin FBI Kingle discusses being one of the few fullbacks at the Combine. How would he feel about joining the Patriots? And what does he think of the Patriots' offense utilizing the fullback position? Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The New England Patriots are fresh off another Super Bowl title and are now well into off-season mode. The team has a lot of decisions to make in free agency, and one of the first will be whether or not to use the franchise tag. They have a few players they could consider tagging but it's unclear whether or not they will. On Friday, Albert Breer of the MMQB reported what the franchise tag values would be for 2019. As Ed Rapsheet said, the salary cap for 2019 has been set at $188.2 million. Via League Memo, here are the official franchise and transition tag numbers sent to teams today. Picked at twitter.com slash Vibowska Sevenoy, Albert Breer, at Albert Breer, March 1, 2019 The Patriots only have three free agents that they would realistically consider tagging. The most obvious candidate would be Trey Flowers. Flowers, the team's best pass rusher, has totaled 26.5 sacks over the course of the past three years, postseason included, and turns 26 in August. If the Patriots wanted to tag Flowers, he would be poised to make roughly $17.1 million. That would eat into most of the Patriots' available cap space, $21.2 million, per over the cap. Elsewhere, on the offensive line, Trent Brown is set to hit free agency after a great year as a blindside protector with the Patriots. Brown, acquired in a trade with the 49ers last offseason, would make just over $14 million on the franchise tag. The Patriots may be willing to pay him, but after investing a first-round pick in Isaiah Wynn last year, they may be content to let Wynn take the starting job on his cost-controlled rookie deal.
the most likely candidate for the tag would be kicker Steven Gostkowski. If the Patriots franchised him, he would make just a shade under $5 million, a much more palatable number for the Patriots than the other tag options. However, Gostkowski and the Patriots reportedly haven't talked about the tag yet, so it remains to be seen whether or not they'll use it on him. The Patriots will reveal their plans soon enough, as the deadline to tag a player is 4 o'clock p.m. On Tuesday, March 5, click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.